Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar 911970. Thank you for taking the time to want to listen to what I have to say, because you will hopefully learn something today. Now, when I mean that, it's basically going to depend on your mindset and your ability to think deeper than what you just see in the world. And I just mean by being able to analyze things, read into things, think deeper, more intellectually. So if you have the capacity to do that, you're going to learn a lot. The rest of those, the people that listen to this are going to shut it off and they're going to think it's nonsense, nonsense and they're going to make fun of it because they just do not have that level that some of us are at at this point. That doesn't make us better. It's just like at school. There are some people that are in college and they're learning things like geometry and trigonometry. And there are people who are in kindergarten who are learning how to finger paint. Doesn't mean they're better. They're just at different stages. So keep that in mind. But I had an interesting conversation on my other channel. And those of you who've been watching me for uh, especially recently know that every now and then I like to talk about comics. It's one of the things I used to enjoy as a child. And it helps bring me joy and keep the stress levels down from other areas of my life. So I have that other channel. And it's amazing how you can have things happen for a reason. And how you can learn things where in sometimes you just would not assume you would learn something. I had a conversation with one of my subscribers. Well, actually, before that, let me give a little um, setup for this. Um, I was watching one of their videos. And... This gentleman, and I won't mention any names because it's not bad mouthing or anything like that. It's just, you know, I don't want to make the person feel embarrassed or anything. But in their videos, a lot of times he will drop the camera or something in the background will fall. And um, I was watching a video today of his, and he was talking about how, oh, I'm always so clumsy. And I said to myself, watch, you know, he was saying, I'm always so clumsy. You know, you know, I got to be careful because I don't want things like my camera to fall and things like that. And I said to myself, watch at some point in this video, he will drop the camera. And that's exactly what he did a few minutes later. And I have to, I actually laughed a little bit, not making fun of her or anything, just the humor of, I could see that coming. And then it really made me think about things in life on a deeper level. And this is a secret that you guys can learn. I've talked about in many videos about the fact that the universe is made up of two essential items. You have light and you have magnetism. The light is the atoms, it's the molecules, it's what everything is created from. The magnetism is what holds it all together, so it's just not flying randomly all over the place. I mean, this is proven stuff. So you will affect the universe based on your emotion. Now, as crazy as that sounds, there are experiments that they've done about this. And there was an experiment, I forget the name of the experiment, but it basically it was by Russian scientists back in the, around the mid 80s, where they wanted to see what would happen if they took a test tube and sucked out all the air and made a vacuum like there is in outer space. Would it be empty? Don't ask me why they did this, but you know, these things, that's how experiments happen. It's all based on curiosity. So when they created a quote-unquote vacuum and sucked out all the air and everything they thought in that test tube and they checked it and they found there were molecules in there just could not be seen by the visible eye so when you look up in the outer space and you look around the air around you this infinite amount of things floating around you just can't see everything universally speaking we're pretty blind so the next step they wanted to see is what happens if they put a strand of human DNA in with the molecules in that quote-unquote vacuum? Would anything happen? Well, they found out that when you put a strand of human DNA into that quote-unquote vacuum, all of the molecules that were in that test tube attached itself to the DNA strands, thus proving that your DNA has control of what the universe is made of. Now, they also in other experiments found that during either times of stress or at times of peace, basically the negative and the positive, and the negative can be anger, jealousy, hatred, frustration, stress, and the positive can be joy, happiness, love, you know, the positive things, calmness, that they found that 
at times of peace, calm, serenity, happiness, joy, those kind of positive emotions, the DNA strands would actually relax. And in times during stress and anger and fear and negativity and the negative aspects of our emotions, they found that the DNA would stretch and tighten. So our emotions control our DNA. Our DNA is made of molecules that make up the entire universe that attach to our DNA strands. So as our moods change, we affect the quote unquote physical world. There is no such thing as physical because if you go into quantum physics and quantum mechanics, it all has to do with the fact of everything made of light molecules. The, the illusion of solid solidness is just so many things piling up against each other. It's like having a dot matrix painting. One dot, you have no picture. A hundred dots, nothing yet. A couple of thousand dots, all of a sudden you start seeing a picture. So the more dots you put, the better the image will be. I mean, look at like, for example, our TVs. It all has to do with how many pixels. The more pixels, the better the image. So if you have a digital camera, I'm sure you remember the days of a one pixel camera and now the 16, 17, 24, 30 pixel cameras, how much more detailed they are. So that's what the whole illusion of solid is. It's just the light molecules clumping together through magnetism, giving the illusion of solidity. Solidity is based on size because, for example, if you take a room and you fill it up with bowling balls, you will be unable to walk through it. But an ant could. What about a molecule? What about a part of the bits and pieces that make up that molecule they might be so small that they don't even know those bowling balls bowling balls exist okay so to continue with the experiment because as you guys know me by now i love to ramble continuing with the experiment they found okay well we understand that there is no such thing as empty because we found i don't know how many millions of molecules in that quote-unquote empty space you just couldn't see it with the naked eye we then found if you put human dna it can it will attract the molecules that make up the universe and your emotions can stretch or relax your dna affecting the quote unquote physical world so they wanted to see what would happen if they took the dna out would the molecules basically go back to being random again and when they took the dna strand out the the um the molecules that clung to the DNA strand continued to stay in the pattern of the DNA like it was still there. So even though the quote-unquote physical part was removed, it was still linked in the pattern like it was still there, thus still forever being affected. So they learned that your emotions can control the what makes up the quote-unquote physical world. So getting back to the person with the comic book video. When he talked about the fact that in his own mind, in his own truth, in his own belief system, he would jokingly say out loud and believe to himself that he was clumsy. And what that does is through your emotion, whether you're kidding around or not, if that's what you believe, that becomes your personal truth. So through the energy, light, which works at the speed of 186,000 400 miles per second will seem like an instant sending that signal out and through magnetism brings back verification of your truth thus creating situations that prove what he said to be true so he would drop his camera like he did later on in that video he would stumble every now and then he would drop things and it's not because that's what he wants in life but it is what he projected into life. So you will always get back verification of your own personal truth, not based on what you say, but what you feel and what you believe. And that's why I've always told people that belief is the way to control people. Because if you can manipulate a person's belief system, their belief system will affect how they feel. Their feelings will affect their DNA, and their DNA will affect the very quote-unquote physical realm. 
so you can easily affect things. So it all has to do with verification. And the way I talk about the quote unquote universe is think of it like talking to a computer. A computer doesn't understand love, jealousy, hate, envy, vanity, doesn't understand these things. It only understands codes that tell it what to do and it responds by doing the very thing it requests. So if you are sitting there all depressed and saying, God, bad things are always happening to me. And why does this always have to be that way? And I never get any good luck and I'm always depressed and things never go my way. Well, think of it from a computer's end and you're typing that in as a program. It's not understanding your emotion. It doesn't understand that you're sad. It's just saying, okay, this must be what it wants because it's requesting it nonstop. So it's giving you the very things even if they're not what you want. So you, according to your own belief system, create your own truth by what you feel. And that's why you can say anything, but you can feel differently. So you can't lie to yourself and you can't lie to the truth because it does not see or feel emotion. It just is. So when you project out your energy, because nothing is contained, it's all light. It all goes everywhere. You just can't sense it because we don't have the physical capabilities to be able to see things in the universe other than the physical small light spectrum and certain levels of sounds. So when you project that out, it's giving you exactly what you want, even though it's technically most of the time not what you want. It's just giving you verification of what you say. So it's creating your truth in your universe. Because when you say things like, oh, bad things are always happening to me, well, bad things are going to come your way because it's saying, okay, you keep saying this, so we're going to verify what you say to be true, thus making it your truth. So if you change your mindset, you would be amazed at how you will change your universe. You cannot change the universe. You can change your universe and your perception. And that's one of the things I couldn't understand when it came to, quote unquote, the haters. See, the people that have a formulation or something in their mind about me and the reason they don't like me will so feel that hatred or anger for whatever reason that they will get nothing but people coming their way that have similar dislikes. There will be things that they will focus on that I could talk for an hour. And if I say two things that don't appeal to them, they will focus on those two things. They will be the most relevant to them, thus creating their own truth for them to be right. And you cannot change somebody else's truth, can you? Though we've all tried, haven't we? So this is the secret to the universe. It is all about changing how you feel, not changing what you say, because if you don't believe what you say and you're just saying it to think, oh, you know, I'll fool the universe. You can't fool yourself. It's like being in love. You either know you are or you're not. Because if you think you're in love, you're not. If you know you're in love, you are. Just like when your stomach growls, you don't sit there and say, hmm, I wonder if I'm hungry. If your stomach's growling and you haven't eaten for a while, you're hungry. It's the universe gives you signals. It doesn't understand why you don't listen or how you respond to it. Because we experience emotion, not everything else in the universe does. So when it comes to the simple yin and the yang, the negative and positive, the light is on or the light is off, there is no emotion to a light switch. It doesn't feel sad that it hasn't been on for days, weeks, months. And it's not all of a sudden happy because the light is on. It just is on. We, for whatever reason, were created or developed emotion. But that emotion can change the world. And that's why if you listen to deep songs, if you listen to philosophers, if you hear the messages out there, and if you're listening this far and you feel that it resonates with you, you're one of those people that have that gift that 99% of the people will mock because they do not have the capacity to understand it, thus creating their own truth, that you can change the world with the feelings that you change. And because light moves, 
in an instant, it can change that quickly. Now, of course, through free will, you have two ways you can go with what you hear right now. You can agree with it. You can disagree with it. But either way, it will create your own truth, your own version of truth. Doesn't make it my truth. Doesn't make it your friend's truth. It doesn't make it your loved one's truth. It just makes it yours. So you, like Dorothy, have the power to go home all along. You just have to have your own acceptance of belief to the point where you feel it. And that's why when you do something with passion, they never say, put your head into it. What do they say? Put your heart into it. Your heart emanates a radio, a, a, a magnetic force field. And you know how you can tell? Stand face to face with somebody that doesn't want you to be there. And as you get closer, you're going to feel that uncomfortable feeling. That is two positive or two negative magnets pushing against and repelling off of each other. That is why when you see something you like, you're attracted to it. Something you don't like repels you. It all has to do with energy, light, and magnetism. That's one of the reasons why you have a child and you call it a youngster or a young star. And that's why you have a son. S-O-N. Haven't figured out the female part yet. So if you know it, please fill me in. I don't have the answers to everything yet. That's why you're the light of the world. That's why they say that you are made in God's image. And what is God? God is the light of the world. What is light? Light is, is nothing more than energy vibrating. What is energy made of? Made of atoms. And you wonder why there is Adam and Eve? The splitting of the atom to create Eve. It's all there for people to see. The people who can think deeper will see the hidden messages. The rest will just see it as a story. And that's what allegories are all about. So if you appreciate this stuff and you are one of the free thinkers and you know that this resonates with you and you feel it in your heart, you came here because you were drawn here. You had a question in your mind or in your heart that needed to be answered, and you were attracted to this. Whether you believe in that or not is up to you. The beautiful thing about free will is you can do whatever you want. Free will is here to have you experience whatever you want through your own choices, which means you will succeed or fail all solely based on what you do or don't do. The more we leave it up to everyone else, the more they try and train you to think that, you know, you need somebody else to save you, to control you, to lead you, to guide you, to protect you. The more people that believe that, the more truth is verified for that. Why do you think the leaders throughout history have always been smarter than the average person and more successful? Because they know these things and because of free will, they cannot force you. But they sure as hell can trick you. So the more you think you need somebody else to control your life, to lead your life, the more situations will put you in that position to feel that you need to be led. It will always give you what you feel, not what you say. So what you do with this information is 100% on you. I ask those who care to share this information, to watch it with loved ones, to have people have a deeper understanding that there is more to life than just what is out in front of you. Because if you think that there is some ever-loving God with unconditional love for its creation, if you think your sole purpose was to be put on a planet full of misery and destruction and poverty and hate, so you could sit behind a desk nine hours a day, 40 hours a week, until you die, if you think that's the purpose, that's one hell of a God. There's more to life, but it's whatever you want to believe. And I believe there are a few people out there who will understand this. I hope there'll be more. That's up to you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this really put things in deeper perspective. And just remember, whatever you feel, you will always get back. So whether it's good or bad, it's just typing into a computer. It doesn't understand the emotion. It doesn't understand you being depressed and crying at night and saying, woe is me. 
It just hears the word. Change it, and you'll be amazed at how quickly your life will change. Just be prepared every now and then to get tested to see if you really believe what you're saying, or you're just saying it because it sounds good and you want to give it a try. As Yoda once said, do or do not, there is no try. And I'll give you a prime example before I go. Get a pen. And if you have to pause this video, please do. I've done this example before. Hold that pen in your hand. Now, when I tell you to, I want you to try and drop it. Ready? Try and drop it. What just happened? Do you hear that noise? I didn't try and drop it. I just dropped it. If you held it in your hand and you did not let it go, what was that? You just, you just made a decision. You didn't try to drop it. You just didn't. So there are only two possibilities. Once you take away the rest, it's that easy. And unfortunately, you've been told all your life, if it's too good to be true, it usually is. And that's the belief system they want you to have. And through your free will, you've chosen to believe it. Thus, creating the very truth they wanted you to have. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Chris. This is Barnon 11970. Hit subscribe if you want to. Have a great night and happy thinking.